Dan, how are you? Oh, fantastic. Boy, that's Good. a big clipboard. Big clipboard, big truck. Love it. I love it. How do you like your new FTR? Oh, I love it. There's just a couple things we need. It's in for its first uh, 10,000 mile oil change. Yes, we got to need to get that done. And uh, we're having issues with the windshield wipers. It's uh, not shooting out any fluid for us. Okay, we can definitely take a look at that. And uh, let me check my laundry list. Um, also, the owner, uh, Darren, wanted some seat covers for the truck, too. Is that something we can do here? Seat covers, they're still working on the seat covers. They should be out about any time. Okay. But just like your other trucks, we, we can put the same, it'll be the same style seat covers. Fantastic. Uh, Those work out great. Well. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And also, we need the roadside service number so we can put that in the truck so when anybody's driving, we have an issue, we know who to call so we can okay. get that I'll taken get care of. that number for you here in just a second. And just look at the back for them. Other than that, I think, I think we should okay. be all right. Yeah, because do you have a backup alarm on this one? Uh, you know what, to tell you the truth, I think we need to add one. Okay. I mean, maybe that's what well, we we can definitely take care of that for you. We, have, we actually do backup alarms on any truck install. Mm -hmm. uh, runs $199.95 for that. Oh, perfect. And we can do that out here with the service if you want. Fantastic. Yeah, Darren said Kevin was great when he sold the truck, but all of us guys driving it, we just need a little more hands-on sure. stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to get some information and we'll get started. Let me grab my Coke real quick. Okay. Looks like I'm having a Coke with Wesley today. Nice. All right, let me get some. Yeah, you're right at it, 9,995 miles. That's great. Let me get the VIN number. And also, he mentioned something about a health report I think I might need. Is yes. Is that something free? Yes, we will do the health report for you uh, here in just a second. I want to open the hood too while I'm here. Well, let's take a look under here and let's just see if we can see anything with the washer fluid. So there's a hood release inside the truck, got right on the driver's side pod. The hood opens up like this. It's a lot different than the end series. Yeah. Hood opens up, you actually have a little prop rod right here, and you place it right there, and that holds the hood up. There's several things under here uh, that I can show you, but it looks like your washer fluid's full, and it looks like your pump and everything's all plugged in and everything right there. So. We'll have to have one of our certified trained factory technicians take a look at it and see why it's not working for you. Sounds but that great. will be covered under your warranty and there'll be no cost at that. Perfect. Uh, just a couple things while we're here, if you want to see. Uh, this is one of your AC filters that you should always make sure that it's clean. Uh, that helps the airflow coming into the cab. It looks brand new still. Yeah, it, it looks pretty good, really. And these are for your air brakes. These lines are for your air brakes. It's a little different than your in-series trucks, so you're probably not used to seeing that. Uh, but that's for your air brakes and then just one last thing you'll probably never need to know but uh, this is to service your air conditioner uh, make sure uh, AC we can we can work on the AC system for most easy here. to get to it looks like yeah pretty easy also there is a chrome grill option uh, for this too as well that I can get you price that look flashy I like it yes uh, you probably noticed Mike there he's getting in the cab of the truck he's uh, gonna get our health report started for us and uh, we'll do a We'll do a light check and just make sure the lights are, are working properly. Uh, we'll kind of go around the truck a little bit while the health report uh, is going on. And you're kind of familiar with the health report, so I'll show you uh, what it looks like on an FTR. So, yeah, I remember Mikey always comes to pick up and deliver our trucks for us, so that's yes. very nice that you guys can do that. Yeah, we always try to pick up uh, and deliver on the PSMP trucks uh, like you have, so we appreciate that. For free? Yes, we do. Yeah, beat that. Yeah. So Mike's going to get the health report started, and as he's doing that, we're going to check the lights and uh, see what we got on the lights. So if you want to turn on the marker lights, Mike, and let's check all the lights. How do you like the side door? Oh, it makes it easy. It does got some get in and out, you know, away from traffic. Very easy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's very nice. All right, so it looks like all your lights are working good. Mike is going around checking all the tire uh, tread depths. He'll give me those readings on the tire tread depths when he gets them all. You know, with only uh, 10,000 miles on the truck, obviously your tires, you know, aren't worn out or anything. Uh, but as you know, on all your other trucks, we sell tires. You know, we sell tires $10 over cost. We want to sell everybody their tires. So uh, always think about us when it comes to tires. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Uh, 
come around this side of the truck. Let's look at a couple other things as we're going. So I see you have the certified priority service sticker on there. So we appreciate that. Uh, that way we can identify when you come in for priority service. A um, couple things since you uh, have wanted to know a little bit more about the truck. Um, the front axles actually have oil bath uh, axles in the front. Uh, the wheel bearings and things don't need to be packed. Uh, so that's what this sight glass is right here. Uh, is to look and uh, see what the oil level is. That's something I do, or you guys take care of that. We'll form? check it. We'll check it when we're in here. But it's not a bad idea to periodically check it uh, in between services. Uh, and then back here, one thing that we're going to do on the 10,000 mile service today, we're going to change the fuel filter down there, the primary and secondary fuel filters. Uh, that is also an air dryer filter right there, which is a little different uh, from what you normally see on your N-Series trucks that you have. Okay. Uh, also, that is the air drain down there that your drivers should drain daily uh, down there by pulling uh, on that tether cord right there. Okay. Uh, that'll do that. Uh, I see you already have the locking def cap, which is a good thing to have uh, since it is so close to your fuel tank like that. And I do see that you did get the 100 gallon fuel tank for the extended range. Mm -hmm. uh, that is, that's outstanding, you'll like that. So oh yeah, less fill ups. Less fill ups. Spence at the pump. <laughs> yes. All right, we'll come back here to the back of the truck. Just a couple of things back here. We're just kind of looking to make sure everything looks okay. Those are air brake chambers back there, which are different. That Those are running the rear air brakes uh, for the truck. So everything looks good there. And walk around this way. This is your dual batteries right there. So you have dual batteries uh, to start the vehicle. And then this over here is just like your other N-Series trucks. This is your uh, catalyst system uh, to reduce emissions. And that's what your diesel exhaust fluid uh, goes for okay. uh, which we will fill up on the service today. Okay, perfect. As well, everything else looks real good. And let's see uh, what we got on the health report, and we'll go over that. Sounds great. That's okay. Good. So let's go over just a couple things, Dan, that we're going to be doing uh, this service. So uh, we're going to replace the uh, engine oil and filter. Okay. We're going to replace the fuel filter and the fuel water separator. We're going to rotate the tires. Then we have 43 other items that we're either, we either going to check or torque the specs uh, all the way through. So we're going to do all that. We're going to check all the fluids, the engine coolant, the exhaust system, uh, brake linings. We'll measure all those. Obviously, you saw us get the tires, okay. uh, so we'll have all that information for you. Uh, but there's a total of uh, 47 items there. And then 14 additional items that you get because you have PSMP. Uh, obviously, we're going to do a vehicle health report, but an undercab visual inspection. We're going to check all the lighting, radio AC, seat belts, and the rest of those 14 items right there. It's like going to the doctor, but for my truck. Yes, it is. Now, one thing I did want to ask you about here in the compliance items, I noticed that you don't have any DOT stickers on your truck. Okay. Uh, we can put those on there. I know it's a new truck, so you probably just just have to throw it into service. But if you would like us to put the stickers on it and DOT the truck, uh, we also do that, and that, is, that runs $85. Let's do it. So uh, we can put you down for that. And then uh, this is what the health report looks like on the truck. Okay. So here it is, and uh, this copy you can take home uh, for you to look at. Mm -hmm. And so you're seeing here about nine miles to the gallon is what you're getting out of your truck. Big truck. It's not too bad, nine miles to the gallon. And all of your all of your uh, ratings and everything are good. You're okay on your engine. It looks like the braking is normal. This tells you your distance travel, uh, which is your 9,000 9, miles. Uh, this is how much fuel you've used. It also breaks it down into highway and city driving, so you can kind of tell where if it's idling. It okay. tells you that. Um, this will kind of tell you what your miles per gallon is. Uh, this is your engine hours, uh, how much it's been running from that from there. Uh, this also just tells you about engine coolant temperature, mm -hmm. what your brake uh, pedal uh, is doing, and what your gear accelerator is. It's kind of a nice little bell curve. Is that what it's supposed to look like? That is, yeah. Okay. That looks perfect. My guys are doing uh, okay. They're doing great. And uh, like I said, not seeing anything on the uh, DPF uh, regeneration count that would alarm me at all. Okay. Uh, so I will give you this. Perfect. And I do have one extra thing for you. You asked for a roadside assistance. Yep, a roadside uh, assistance. A number, number, so let me get that for you. If you want to keep this in the truck, perfect. This is an easy 
pamphlet that if you need roadside assistance, you'll be able to use that. Okay. Uh, also, we do this for everybody on their first service on an FTR. We want to present you with this Isuzu FTR little model truck. Like it uh, kind of looks like that. And we appreciate your purchase, and we'll get that back to you. John, this has been great. It's been very easy. Thank All you, right. sir. Thank you. Thanks. All right.